Please stand. <laughs> This mass will be offered for, excuse me, Carl and Mary, um, Ivan Kovics. Do you know that? How to pronounce that name? Well, anyway, Jesus knows. Okay. Uh, who's going to be my lector? I will. Oh, oh, take the mic up for us. Okay, but wonderful. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with you Coming together as God's family. With confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us strength in time of trial. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring healing to the sick and the suffering. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around, looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to, a known, to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, because he, because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered, and ordered the seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that the people might seek God even perhaps to grope for him and to find him, though indeed he was not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from of old, the from, from of gold, silver, or stone, by human and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all peoples everywhere repent, because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice. Through a man he is appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Um, among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman de named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and the judges of the earth, 
Young men too, and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his majesty above the earth and the heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all the faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. <laughs> Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears. And he will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine, and for this, this reason, I tell you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Right now we have probably six, maybe eight Americans who are uh, candidates for either beatification or canonization. And today we have Prince Demetrius Galitzin. He was born in Russia. His father was a wealthy Russian aristocrat, probably one of the richest men in Russia. His mother was a German countess who was a devout Catholic. And Demetrius was raised a Catholic, although his father wasn't happy about that. And so, because there was so much wealth, the family travels a great deal. And Demetrius came to the United States and he visited many cities and, he, and even small towns or villages. And he saw that there were an abundance of Catholics who had no priests whatsoever, no religious, no religious training. And his heart went out to them and he returned to Russia and he ended up in a in France in a Catholic seminary and his ideal was to become a missionary. Of course his father was very, very unhappy about this. Uh, he had no son to carry on his, uh, his nobility to take care of his great fortune. But at any rate, Demetrius was ordained a priest. And then eventually he became a bishop. And his bishopric covered western Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Virginia. A large, large territory. And since they didn't have modern transportation at that time, because we we're back in the early 18th, uh, 19th century, and he rode on a horse all throughout all that territory, 
trying to communicate with the Catholic communities, trying to round up priests and religious who would be willing to serve in these areas which had no priests whatsoever. And so he did so much good because he did have a share of his father's wealth and he, so he even uh, built a Catholic <coughs> seminary in Loretto, Pennsylvania. He, he, uh, wanted to, he developed Catholic communities, housing, industry, everything. He did a wonderful, wonderful job. And then his parents died. And he was to inherit millions upon millions of dollars. But the Russian government intervened. Russia at that time was predominantly Russian Orthodox, and they refused to give him a penny. So that didn't end his mission at all. He continued to work with, without money. But finally, when the Lord called him, he was penniless. And therefore, but he left behind a rich religious gift to all God's people. And hopefully soon he will be declared blessed right at the present time. The first step is he's declared a venerable servant of God, as are so many other people in this country who are worthy of canonization and sainthood. Now if you'll stand please, we'll have our general intercessions. <coughs> and so we pray, <coughs> because God is our stronghold in times of need, we petition him with our prayers. For the church, may God give us the grace to hear and live by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who hold civic or political office, may God lead them in acting out with both wisdom and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those struggling with financial burdens, may the Lord provide all that is, that they need and help them trust in his divine providence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own faith community, may God endow us with a spirit of mercy towards others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, especially, we pray today for Carl and Mary Evankowitz and all our deceased loved ones and parishioners, especially including Mary Ann. Hammer, and today we are bearing uh, Yolanda Lofredo. May all rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. And for Joe back here who's celebrating his birthday today, may he have good health and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For our own special intentions, which we now mention within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayers. Loving God, hear and grant it. These petitions we have placed before you with trusting hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed God. God. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of your own hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord will set aside the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the laws of the Holy Church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Carl and Mary Ivankowitz, for whom this Mass is being offered. Remember all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. I have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the same command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us 
from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sun. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways of life to a newness of life through Christ your Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend the us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and spirits of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you, Father.